Good morning, my name is Ashley King. I am a entrepreneur and I also am a creative. So I really love um, to be doing all kinds of fun and creative things and also meeting people from different walks of life. And I'm really honored today to have been invited by Steve Pugh to be one of his presenters on the Roadmap MBA. It's a really special um, opportunity and privilege. And I really hope to uh, hear from people watching back or watching live. If you have any questions, please let me know. So today I'm gonna to be talking a lot about women in entrepreneurship. And I also wanted to see, um, well, to share a little bit about me and my journey so that you know um, why I'm so passionate about female entrepreneurs. So uh, as I said, I'm a creative entrepreneur and I started a business unexpectedly when I was made redundant uh, in 2019. And I didn't know what I was going to do or how I would be able to make money. So I looked at the strengths and skills I had at the time and started doing uh, baby showers and hen -dos. And I would go and make spaces look beautiful. I'd have pretty lights, I'd have gorgeous flowers, but I was spending lots of money and not making any because I didn't know how to price things. I didn't know how to manage cash flow. I spent a fortune on courses and mentoring and I just really didn't know what I was doing. I was actually um, running a hobby. If I look back, I wasn't really thinking about um, anything uh, from a business perspective. I was fortunate uh, in 2019 to start my MBA at Newcastle University Business School. Now I know this show is the Roadmap MBA and I'm actually a huge fan of the Roadmap MBA. I think it's a brilliant tool to learn real uh, business skills uh, in a practical way, in a workbook method. And I will be covering in future some of my thoughts on classroom versus um, uh, learning-based uh, MBAs. But I do wanna say that doing a business course is such a powerful thing when you started a business because it helps you to think through all of those decisions you've made, um, where things are going well, where they not. And I wish I had done that earlier. At the same time, having failed at certain things, I was able to learn in a better way because it meant that I was able to understand why I had gone wrong or where I had gone wrong. So I'd like to uh, share a little bit more about that business journey. So I went and did my master's in business administration and being a full-time student and trying to study whilst um, run your business, uh, was quite challenging because it was mostly in the events industry. And then COVID happened. So for many people, we have all been affected in different ways. But um, the events industry in the UK uh, was massively hit by COVID because we were in lockdown and we couldn't um, access any of our usual opportunities. You know, bars were closed, there were no festivals. Uh, it was a really challenging time and for me, I had around 10 grand of work that was just lost overnight. And so what I wanted to say is I was forced to pivot just by circumstances. And at this point, I already had a podcast, um, which I was really fortunate to have. So that's Nurture Your Zest, my podcast. Um, and I started to think, well, what can I do? I can't do events. I can't go and make spaces look pretty. I don't know how to um, actually edit. I don't know how to uh, do any of these skills, but I love talking. I love talking to people and interviewing them. So what I decided to do was start a show called Nurture Your Zest 100 Conversations. And that was a live stream. Um, and I taught myself how to do everything from home. So I went from being in a really gorgeous professional studio with brilliant sound to being in the attic of my house in a tiny corner. And that was really scary, but I did it. So I think uh, what I'd like to say there is challenging yourself is really important, but also in my opinion, anyone can start a podcast. And if you ever need to learn how to do a podcast, that is now what I do. I train people to create their own stories, share their stories with the world and um, it's really fun. And so I've completely pivoted, but I do wanna to talk today about women in business generally, why women start a business, um, some of the challenges they may face, some of the things that really worry me about entrepreneurship for women. And I just would really love to open up this discussion.